Welcome back. In this video, I will be reviewing three separate purchases I made from three different independent artists who have their own online shop. They each sell a variety of items, and I'm really excited to open this one in particular. I've already opened it, actually. I've opened all the packages because I did want to confirm that I got everything in my order. But everything is here, and I'm really, really happy with what I got, so I'll just go ahead and get started. My camera makes it way too dark, but the first purchase I made is from a shop called... Maho card. Well, let me open it and see if there's a, a business card in here because I can't remember. So from this particular shop, I essentially just bought a bunch of stickers, but very good quality stickers that were sent in a bubble mailer. Very pretty color. And two envelopes were inside. This is my main order. And then this includes um, a part of my order and then a little extra. So here is one of the sheet of stickers that I got. This was in a separate envelope because it was a different size from the other sheets of stickers. They are that um, waterproof vinyl that's really nice. You could probably use this as a, a car sticker, but they are on the small side. So I'm definitely going to put this on or over journal covers or gift them to friends. I did get a couple sheets to specifically give to friends. You could definitely use these on your laptop and such as well. And I did get this as an extra, which is really cute. Little Bulbasaur. I don't see any type of business card, which is a shame. Um, but here are all the sheets that I got. And I will include links to all the shops in the description of this video. So if you are interested in any of the items I'm reviewing, feel free to support these independent artists. I've always loved shopping from independent artists because the styles that you get are just... There's a wide range of them, really, because they are, you know, their own artists. They make their own stuff. And the types of products that they sell um, are also really unique compared to mainstream merchandise. So here's the first sheet. It's this little ghost cat. I mainly got it for this one. Again, not a cat person. So the rest of them I'm probably just going to give to my friend. And then I'm just going to steal this one because it's really cute. They did have an enamel pin of this, but unfortunately it was sold out by the time I got to their website. Um, here is this amazing little orange sticker sheet that's half... Um, shiba dogs and half i'm pretty sure this was supposed to be a reference to hamtaro because it looks exactly like him but the title on the website was more along the lines of just hamster or ham ham something like that a sticker sheet so unlicensed hamtaro but super super cute their art style is just so adorable next is this shark sticker sheet of all of the different um little Halloween costumes. I love this Frankenstein one. The ghost is super cute. Love the vampire, the little devil pumpkin. The only one I don't care for too much is the angel, obviously, because it's pink, but still very, very cute and adorable. Then, um, and they, this is one reason that I discovered them is they really focused a lot of their designs on sea creatures. So they had this amazing purple little sticker sheet with a manta ray, um, shark, whale shark, penguin. I think this is an octopus. Just really, really cute. Then there's this one. Again, Halloween themed. This was an impulse buy just because it was Halloween themed. But I really loved this little owl here at the bottom. And the bunnies and shark. Oh, so cute. And then this sheet of yokai. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this one. Especially it was just adorable. I'm probably going to give away the rest of them because I just don't care for them. Um, but these two, especially this one, I absolutely love. Then there was this other sea creature one that was amazing. Two little great whites and then this jellyfish, I think. And then this one. Oh, it's just so cute. I really love this one especially. Um, this one was just pretty. Again, an impulse buy because it was sea creatures. I really like the slug. Very unique. And then this ray here. And then this one, oh my goodness, was so cute. I love that it was sea creatures, but also ambiguously Spongebob. Spongebob and Patrick look so cute. I can't wait to put them somewhere. Um, and then the rest of them are just really cute as well. So definitely a keep for me. And again, all these stickers are made of the kind of soft matte vinyl. So they, they're probably waterproof and fairly sticky. So they're a good size, I think, for laptop stickers, PC stickers, if you just want to decorate something like your dresser drawer or 
or a journal that you take out with you. I think these would be really good for that. Um, so really happy that I got these and they did have a discount. If you buy three sheets, I believe every sheet after that, you get like 10, 20% off or something like that. So I got all of these at a discount for the most part. So I'm really happy that I got all of these. Again, the name of the artist is Maho Kart or something like that. I'll put it on the screen, but also leave a link in the description as well if anyone is interested in purchasing from this artist because their stuff is super cute. Normally I leave the largest purchase for last, but I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what I got from this artist. This is, oh my gosh, I don't even remember. They have branding all over their, the tape they used for the box, which is cool. I've never seen that. This is how they packed everything, which is fine. All of it is very soft stuff. Um, the exception of some enamel pins, but here is their information. And again, I will leave links in the description to their shop. Really cute card. Very nice quality too. So again, they're another artist that has a lot of designs featuring sea creatures or a lot of their focus is designing merchandise with sea creatures on them, which again, I absolutely love. So I'll just start pulling stuff out. Here is one of the first things that I purchased from them. And this is more or less the reason I decided to, to buy a bunch of stuff from them. I saw these wrist breasts and I could not resist. First of all, it includes my favorite fish ever, which is the ang deep sea angler fish. So here it is. I appreciate the packaging. I do think they could probably add some kind of design onto the packaging. Because otherwise, I have no, if I were to gift this to somebody, they would have no idea who it's from. But here it is. It's a little wrist rest for when you hold your mouse on the computer, desktop computer. It has the suctioned bottom, which is great. It's very jelly. I love these types of wrist rests. Very comfortable, super nice. And again, love the design. And then I also got the matching wrist support that goes in front of your keyboard. So here it is. So here is what it looks like. Same design again, just maximized a little bit more. I love that you can see the koala canth on this one. You can't really see it on this one, but love that fish. Oh yes, very comfortable. And then to complete the trio, I did also purchase a desk mat. I have about two or three of them. Um, one I use at work, the other one I have on my desk right now, but it's more of a play mat than a desk mat, so it's not very long. My wrist kind of goes out of it because the keyboard is so long, so I figured let me upgrade. And actually get a desk mat with a design that I really like. And this design is different. It features deep sea ocean creatures, which I absolutely adore. Oh my gosh, it's that, um, that one eel with the giant mouth that a bunch of scientists were making fun of. <laughs> Any of y'all see that video? That video cracks me up. And then, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of this thing, but I remember when everyone was freaking out when this was discovered because of its transparent head. I bought a pin of this some jellyfish, and then this little squid, all the bioluminescent um, squids as well. Just so cool. I love this. And it's very long. Um, I did not realize how long this was going to be, actually. It's about two, almost two of the length of this. So that's really nice, actually. That makes me feel nice and comfortable and cozy because the, the image extends so far. So I'm really excited to set these up on my, on my desk and start using them. The next thing that I purchased was a bunch of enamel pins, and this is their name, Umvelt. Uh, I believe the URL for their online shop is that as well. But look at all these amazing sea creature enamel pins that they have. And they include information on the animal, which I thought was really cute. So this is a black dragonfish, and then it includes the scientific name. A giant isopod, a humpback anglerfish. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. The vampire squid. 
which is awesome. And I think one of these glows in the dark. I don't remember which one it was. I think it's this one. But here is the jellyfish. Now, most of these were, I think, around $15. Something like that. But the the, the phantom jellyfish was a bit more expensive. So only, I was going to get two of this one, but I ended up only getting one. So overall, I do adore the packaging for the the enamel pins. I appreciate the educational aspect of it. They could have just made a cute little backing and be done with it. Instead, they made these custom cards and put that information there. So that's really, really cool. And I, I cannot wait to put these on my pin board. All right. I do apologize for the odd angle, but the last few items are clothing and I didn't want to try and show it in the filming space because there's no way I'm going to be able to do it justice. So here's the first item. This is still the same shop. And I am very much praying that all of this stuff fits because the previous shop or the last shop of this haul, the sizes were pretty big, but I think this shop follows more Asian sizing. So hopefully the size I ordered is um, accurate. It looks a little big actually, but hopefully it's not. I ordered, what was this? I tried to follow their sizing chart fairly well, so I ordered a large. Here is the tag, so this must be the contractor they use to actually manufacture their hoodies. So this is a hoodie with a really cool, and I, I believe it's glow in the dark, I'll have to double check, um, but it has this amazing print on the front of the skeletal ocean prehistoric creatures. And then the arm also has a design on it, the left arm. Super cool. I love the concept and the design, especially how it came out. I also appreciate that this hoodie has pockets on the front. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've owned or worn actually hoodies. And I've been looking into buying a couple because it gets really, really cold now in Texas in the winter where I live. And I don't want to waste so much um, money on electricity turning on the heater. So I prefer to just cozy up and wear a bunch of jackets and sweaters in my house. Oh, excellent. It fits almost perfectly. The chest area is a little tight, but that's fine. It does have drawstrings um, on the hood and oh my gosh, it's so comfortable. I love it. So I would say there's more give in the chest area than there is the waist area. Very much hugs your body um, down there. So if you are someone with very wide hips, I would recommend choosing whatever size you think would fit best in the waist area. So overall, I'm very happy with this. I love it. And yeah, but, and like I said, the inside is lined with very soft, is this fleece? It's very soft, soft fabric. But now we can move on to the next item. Now this one I did order extra large, just based on the measurements of the size chart. So considering I, I was right to pick large for this. I'm hoping I picked the right size for this as well. This is a pinafore, which I've never bought before. It's um, is essentially a skirt with a little, a front extension. Um, so it fits similar to how um an apron would. There is some loose stitching here. So the hoodie has a printed design on it. This is actually embroidered, which is really really cool. There are some loose threads. The fabric is a little scratchy. It's kind of that non-stretchable type of fabric, but the waist is elasticated. I know the easiest way to show this to y'all is to model it, but I don't want to do that. So <laughs> we'll just have to make do with this. Um, but as you can see, it's primarily a skirt and then it has this little chest part um, that goes in front. And then I believe it does have pockets. Yes, they're quite small actually. I don't think my phone would fit in this. And the skirt itself is also made of that really rough fabric that the top part is made out of. Okay, so I just tried it on and it fits perfectly. Again, the pockets are a little small, um, but basically you would hold this up to your chest and then take the straps that are on the back of the skirt portion waistline and hook it like so. Very simple. The straps are adjustable so you can make it as tight or as loose fitting as you would like. The only thing I would say, and this is just because I've never worn something like this before, 
it does seem like it might be a little awkward regardless of the size because it seems like it's not they didn't widen this portion to adjust for the size up so if you're someone who has a bigger chest um this might it might not be as impactful compared to the width of the skirt i would say so it would be nice if they made this a little bit wider the and i don't know if they did again i've only bought one size and or if that's how that works um but it would be nice if it was a little bit wider so it covers majority of the chest area instead of just like halfway <laughs> But other than that, it's really, really cute and I do love it. Um, I love that it has pockets. It's a shame they're kind of small. I wish it was big enough for my phone um, because, yeah, like <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> that's how far it goes in. So that's everything that I got from Umvelt. Now, the last thing that I purchased is actually what started this whole mess and me spending a bunch of money on independent artist shops. I've been following one particular artist for I think at least a year now because I discovered them on Twitter when they posted a sketch to a, a design they were having produced for a jacket. And this design involved a black herb, dark purplish jacket with a bunch of mushrooms. I thought it looked really cool so I followed the artist so I could keep track of when they were going to release this jacket. When they got the sample in they posted a photo of that and I loved it and I told myself I don't care what the price is when this jacket releases I am getting it and it released I think early February is when they had their shop open because if you weren't aware a lot of these independent artists will sometimes not have their shop open throughout the year they'll do drops where they'll prepare a bunch of stock upgrade their their website and then open it for a significant for a specific amount of time and then close it back up so if you really want something from them and they're fairly popular you kind of have to set an alarm and prepare yourself to grab what you want during their drop it really reminded me of waiting until like 3 a.m for that monster high doll drop <laughs> thankfully it wasn't as stressful and i got my jacket and it is amazing let me show y'all what it looks like so here is the jacket the inside is lined with this amazing it's it's not like fuzzy soft but it is soft and it has this awesome oh my gosh it has an inner pocket i've already had this for a couple days and i wore it for a whole day and i did not even notice it had an inner pocket oh my goodness that's amazing but yes that's the inner lining and then the outside is covered in uh, this amazing embroidery um it did have some loose threads here and there but for the most part it's well constructed so here are the designs and it already has some fuzz because the outside is made out of this kind of suede material it's very soft very nice to, t to touch um, but it does attract a lot of lint and dust and all that um, the only thing i would say that's a concern are the buttons because they are very pretty but i have this problem with a lot of custom made clothing um, the buttons don't always seem to be sewn on there very well and my only worry is that they'll come off because sewing back a button is very easy, but it's tedious for me and I hate doing it. So that was really my only concern is all the loose threads around the buttons. Other than that, again, I thought it was very well constructed. Here is another look at the brightness was up really high, but hopefully y'all can see this amazing embroidery. And it doesn't stop there because there's some on the other side as well. So both the sleeves have this embroidery. And the thread that they used um, changes with the light. You might be able to notice with the fact that it looks a little weird on the camera, depending on how I hold it. And then the back, and then this is the amazing design on the back of the jacket. The bottom is hemmed with the stretchy material. I ended up buying a medium, if you can believe it, because when I was looking at the size chart, they seemed to run pretty big. So I got a medium and it fits perfectly actually. If anything, I thought it was a little big in the arms. Um, my wrists are way too small for this, but it's it's not bad. If I wore a sweater under this or something, I'm sure that would fix that issue. But other than that, it fit really, really well. And if you're interested in this, you will see when you click on the link how expensive these are. This is by far the most expensive a uh, single piece that I purchased. I would say it's 100% worth it because the way this jacket was designed was it's just really well done. The artist didn't just want to make an image and print it onto a jacket. No, they they thought out the inner lining, the pocket on the inside, um, the embroidery on each sleeve, the front and the back, and then 
down to the color of the buttons to match everything. It's just really well done and I'm very impressed. So here is the artist Morning Witch and again I will leave links in the description of where you can find their shop and everything. But yeah, I would say I'm, I'm so happy with this jacket. I'm glad I stuck around there and didn't forget about them when they started posting about their shop drop. I set an alarm and everything. And buying from them and receiving this jacket kind of pushed me to go ahead and buy some things that I was eyeing from other independent shops, um, like Umvelt and the stickers. And that's pretty much everything that I purchased from these independent artists. Again, I'm so happy to have received everything. I think everything was such good quality and worth the price that I paid. Morning Witch did uh, include a little care card with the jacket. So I thought that was really nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, if you're interested in any of these products, I will leave links to the artist page as well as their store and direct links to each product that I purchased in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.